Greetings gamers! Overwatch has given us yet another new character and it is pronounced Orissa. And the only reason I know how to pronounce it is because I watched the video. Thank you Overwatch. So guys, apparently this character has a really cool backstory. I will put a link in the description below so you can obviously go and check the story out where they're actually talking about that. So guys, giving you a very quick backstory. Obviously, this all has to do with the Omni Crisis. Now, during that war, there were a bunch of Omnic robots that were used. Uh, and there was, obviously, there was the bad villain whose name was Doomfist. Now, during that battle, there were several units used, including Bastion. And there was also a unit called the OR-14. Now, once that war was obviously over, there was peace. However, a little fast forward a few years after the war, and they start running into problems with a villain called Doomfist. Now, the OR-15s were created from they were the model above the OR-14s, because, hey, there's nothing more original than saying, hey, you're a new model, let's add one number to it. So they added the OR-15s and they were specifically designed to take on Doomfist. Now obviously the OR-15s lost the battle horribly. Everybody gave up on their design except for one girl, Efi. She takes all the parts back and then assembles a, a standalone robot and, and that is called Orissa. So that's basically the quick backstory of it. And like I said, I will put a link in the description below so you can go and check that out. Now, guys, the big difference between this hero and all the other heroes of Overwatch, obviously all those other heroes are well established. We know their strengths. We know their weaknesses. With, uh, with Orisa, it's a brand new hero. It's a brand new hero in the timeline. We don't know exactly what their strength and weakness is. Um, so it's more of a, a discovery for a for a hero. This character is a tank. The main weapon on this character, guys, is called a fusion driver. And in case you have no idea what that is, guys, it's basically a projectile-based machine gun. Now, guys, when she fires her weapon, she does move a lot slower. So obviously keep in mind that when you are using the weapon, you will be slower moving. And, but that said, the range on the weapon is probably one of the best in the game. So if you want something with range, definitely keep this character in mind. Now guys, keep in mind also, not only is it a good range, but she has a very large clip size on the machine gun with a really good rate of fire. So it's a really good machine gun for basically just providing heavy support. Now guys, the ultimate fire or the ultimate fire on this weapon is very much like a magnet, um, of sorts anyway. Sends out a pulse that affected targets will be drawn towards you for a very short limited time. Now the obvious major benefit to this weapon, guys, is obviously once you've drawn everybody into a certain area, obviously if you've got Widowmaker or anybody like that, you can then get some critical shots done on these targets that are in this area. Um, and you can even pull people from around corners and stuff as well. Um, so it's more of a way of positioning enemies so that your teammates can take them out. Now guys, she also has a tank ability called Fortify, where basically she sort of hardens her shell. She becomes more resistant to damage. But it also allows her to, to not be affected by crowd control. So obviously, you know, you can't go knocking her around with concussion brass or anything like that. Um, so it's very much a tank-based ability. Now guys, she also has a protective barrier that she can place by aiming. Um, it's roughly half the size of Winston's barrier. Um, but that basically allows you to go through and you can place it anywhere like in front of you or to the left or to the right. Um, so you can use it to protect yourself, or if you've got enemies, or sorry, if you've got friends, or friendlies that are taking fire, you can throw the barrier up in front of them. Obviously, do keep in mind, guys, it is a standard barrier, so you can destroy it by shooting at it. Also, some of the other weapons will also go through the barrier, so any weapons that can penetrate a normal barrier will also penetrate this one as well. 
Now obviously guys, lastly, her ultimate is a barrel that she carries on her back. Once that is fully charged, she slams it into the ground and any friendlies in a certain radius will get a damage boost. Now do keep in mind guys that this barrel or this supercharge can be destroyed by the enemy. Um, so you want to go using shields or, or, or some men to protect this barrel. Um, or you know, obviously put it in a spot where it's out of line of fire. Um, but obviously guys will allow you to get a slight damage boost to your friendlies. Um, which obviously can help give you an advantage. Now guys, obviously there is a pretty cool trailer that goes through and has the story. Also there is the developer's notes or the developer video. I'll put a link to both of those in the comment section below. So obviously you can go and check those out. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you keen for another tank-based character? Um, or are you a little bit, yeah, we've already got enough. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Guys, if this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you playing games. Have a great day and enjoy.